Hey guys, this is Gabriel from Catspace. Um, this week what I want to do is actually show you how to create a rendered um, image in situ. So I've, I've got this, taken this photo and I want to put my table in the corner over here and I want to be able to find a picture or create a picture without having to actually create my product yet. And I can show the customer, get a quote and get them approved before I've even um, started making anything. Alright, let's get started. First thing that I want to do is I want to add um, a decal or a screen to this computer monitor and I don't want to really want it to just be black so what I want to do is open this part and add a decal on, on this screen so let's go into the display manager into the decals and just add decal I'm actually going to select an image so I've actually taken a screenshot of my desktop um, and I've just located into a folder decals and background and we just select that. The next thing it's asking us is to select a reference, so I'm just going to select this face um, so it's not orientated correctly. Um, let's fit it to width and select uh, and height first um, and then just mirror it horizontally and vertically. So now we've got it in the right orientation. So let's save that. So that, that update in my assembly and that's fine. Uh, next couple of things we want to do is add some appearances to my desk here. So we go into the appearances scene and decals tab and then I'm going to go into organic wood and I'm going to select a beach finish. I'm actually going to select an unfinished beach. I don't really think it should be polished because I don't want it to be too reflective. So just drag and drop and apply it to the desk. Now we can see that there's a few bumps here. We can actually see the bumps and that's not the right scale if you like so what I'm actually going to do is edit that appearance before we go on any further so find the appearances and then right click on it and say edit appearance I don't really have to play too much around with this but I will grab this corner and just resize it and that'll change the scale of my appearance or you can always scroll down to where it says mapping and just change it here as well but I, I kinda like using this because it's real time and that's good. Can't see any of that bumps. Now the next thing I want to do is create appearance or add an appearance for this seat. Um, it's more of a cloth finish so let's go into the appearances, go into fabric, look for cloth. I want a nice dark color. I'm just going to refer back to that photo that I took and then you can see here it's an, a dark finish so I'm going to try and add a the darker appearance and that's actually nice it's really good but if I zoom in a little bit I think the stitches look just a bit too big so I'm just gonna quickly edit that appearance as well where's my little rectangle there okay and that looks a lot better again okay so I've added the appearances that I need to what I want to do is, is, is just insert the background so I can start getting the the perspective and ang angles and sizing correctly so the way we do that is again still in my display manager I go to the view scene lights and cameras options here just right click on this scene and then say edit scene so what I actually want to do is two things firstly let me just fix this shadow you can see it's sort of hovering off the shadow so go into the floor, align floor width and then say select a plan and just select that bottom bottom face there and you can see that this is the the shadows now reflect from the floor at the bottom of the of the leg there. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is actually I'm going to browse for a background image. So I'm going to go to that folder and that photo that we've taken here. Okay so I'm just going to hit OK right now and I can actually just rotate and move my my assembly here the first thing I need to do is just turn on that perspective otherwise it's just not going to look right because the actual photo, real photos have perspective so let's match that next thing I want to do is play around with the sizing a little bit, location and just until I'm kind of happy with that Okay, and that's roughly where I want it to be so I'm going to quickly just save a view 
So if I hit spacebar, get my orientation, and I'm going to add a view, and I'm going to call it view 1, only because I can rotate this around, and then I can always just flick back to view 1. I still want to add a camera though, but this is really good because I want to be able to rotate the model every now and then. So we still in the same tab here, and then we right click on camera and add camera. So this left side shows you the position of the camera with respect to the assembly. The segment on the right here actually shows you what the output will be. So what I want to do is I want the camera to be focused always on that monitor. So let's uh, zoom in a little bit. Click on the monitor face. And that way I can move this around just using the control and the zooming in and out. Um, before I start getting too carried away, I'm just going to make sure that I select a 24mm wide angle and that will add some more perspective to it. Great. That looks okay. Let's hit okay. And let's just flick to that camera view. Now, a couple more things here before I actually go on any further. I want to try and match this shadow here. So I need to add some directional light. So we do that by right clicking lights, add directional light, and we get this here. Now, I'm just going to put it over there so that it's shining from here to there and it will cast the light onto that side, onto that wall. Um, now, i just got to make sure you go into the photo view um, tab here and make sure you turn it on, otherwise it's not going to come up on your on your render and you're going to ask me why. So, let's just hit OK now. And, I'm, and I haven't really played too much with the settings because I want to set it up correctly. We hit a preview and that way we know exactly um, what needs to change and what needs to stay. Okay. So already it's starting to look pretty good, but there's a couple things I really need to change here. One of those is that this is just reflecting too much light. It's way too bright, and so is the desk. You can see that the shadow is is great. It's it's casting over this way, um, same as the the light here. So that's okay. The next, what I really need to do though, is just move it to the side so I can work with my tabs here. Go into the materials, and then. First thing I'm going to change is this um, this chair. Using the grey cotton, we right click and say Edit Appearance. And the option that I need to change is actually the illumination and the diffuse amount. And I just want to reduce it. It doesn't diffuse that much light. It actually absorbs a lot of light. And by reducing that, it's actually uh, made it a lot darker. Okay, so that's what we want to reduce a little bit more. We get it nice and dark, and it's starting to match the color here as well. Okay, so that's good. We need to do that a little bit more for the for the desk. It's just too bright. We need to absorb a bit more light. So we right click edit appearance and go into illumination and just play around with that value a little bit. It's not going to be as as much as a chair because it is still a little bit reflective. And that looks great. So we just hit OK. Okay. Um, and that's how quickly and easily we can do it. I mean, that looks pretty realistic. Um, you know, it's in the corner. It starts trying to match the shadow. Um, we can create a final render. Um, what I will suggest, though, is you go into the 360, Photo View 360 options. Um, you increase the size of this. Once you get it, do a final render and it's great. Increase the size so we can get a lot higher quality image. Um, the other thing that you want to do is just make sure that the final render quality is maximum. Again, these options will um, increase the time of your render, but the output is a lot, a lot nicer. And if you want to have a look at a comparison, just hit the help button here, and that'll get you a lot more information about the rest of these options, including network rendering, just so we can share the load on other computers. Okay, um, and here's one I prepared earlier because it does actually take a little while to do and it looks like this. Okay, If I zoom in it's still pretty good quality there as well. If you guys have any questions feel free to email me. Thanks for watching. Bye.